Relying on Creative is now more important than ever. After the iOS update, tracking is a bit faulty right now on Facebook. So advertising the right message and the right creative is crucial to most e-commerce businesses, if not all e-commerce businesses. What's up guys, Nikita from aspectagency.com and today I'll be showing you exactly the four types of creatives that you need in your Facebook ads uh, in order to stand out from the crowd. Now these four types of creatives are different uh, from each other and we've battle tested all four of these creatives to ensure that you know they're actually proven and they work and the fact is they do work. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about and we'll go ahead and just jump into my computer here real quick and I'll go over some examples. So one of the first ads that I'm talking about here is the before and after slash uh, it's the before and after and also the comparison type of creative. Blue Land here is uh, a great company. They provide reusable, uh, not reusable, but more eco-friendly solutions for uh, detergents, um, soaps, laundry, and uh, even sponges. So here they show they show you the before and after or the comparison before between you know the Blue Land scrub sponge versus them or the normal sponge that you actually would use to clean your dishes. So here it's made from plants, composable, compostable, and dishwasher safe. Here it contributes to waste, made from plastic, hard to clean. So the thing is most people just throw out their sponges um, and it's very hard to clean with them uh, because, you know, <laughs> like the, every sponge you throw out is, adds to a landfill versus here they're compostable. So when you throw them out, they're more likely to, they're more biodegradable and they're more likely to, you know, disintegrate. So having a clear comparison between you and a competitor or you and a different product in your sector um, or one state from another state is very important um, to outlining creatives and it, it visually anchors what a person's thinking about of like, why would I consider your product over this product? Like here, getting a scrub sponge is a no brainer compared to just using normal sponges because like, why would you contribute to more waste every year when you can just get a biodegradable sponge that works as better if not better than your normal typical sponge. So first creative is a before and after. The next creative is what's called user generated content or UGC. Now here is where you would probably work with influencers or work with um, people with a big following whether on TikTok, Instagram or YouTube and they would create tiny little commercials for you or going over your product as well as you can use UGC of you know people actually buying your product and then tagging you on Instagram about how they loved your product, you know them with the product, you know just go to your Instagram and then go to the tagged section and there you'll find a bunch of user generated content from people that you didn't even know about. So here Fat Snacks does it really well, um, and they have this um, you know uh, this girl go over why she loves fat snacks um, and make sure to add in some captions at the end because most people on Facebook don't have volume on so it's better to for them to just read it. So most UGC doesn't have all these layers on there because here if we replay the video um, she's got they got like the fat snacks brand the blue outline everything most UGC is just raw you know it, it and what I mean by raw is just it's a video shot with copy and uh, headline. There's no like actual added effects and maybe there's a there's captions, but that's it. But you can also dress it up like Fat Snacks did here. Um, and what this does is just it, it looks more native on the Facebook and Instagram platforms. So people are more likely to be receptive to it because they think they're just looking at someone they know or someone they, they know of and them going over this product. So they're more likely to build trust because there's actually people that have bought this product and are using the product. Uh, Blue Land again has a good UGC where they talk about I think this is a TikTok that's been repurposed and it's talking about their um, cleaning uh, spray and you can see how it's very shot it's shot not professionally but it's shot in a way where like this can be done with an iPhone or it can be done with an Android phone and you know it's just a selfie going over the, the product and yeah there's UGC and then you have the, the call to action at the end. So good stuff, just have an influencer or have, um, or pull these from your um, Instagram tag because you know sometimes people even review the products for you without even asking. Next up is what's called testimonials. 
So for example, like here, Casper mattresses, pretty huge. They make mattresses. Um, they have a Labor Day sale and they have like all of these testimonials popping in and out from like people, good housekeeping. Um, is there gonna be another one? Nope, it's just people and good housekeeping. But, uh, oh, well and good, people, housekeeping. So all of these are like really good because they solidify exactly why a person's buying this. And they show that other people have bought it and it shows like what they loved about that mattress. So it's supportive in all the right places. It's one night to realize that this mattress is special. Like, wouldn't you want to hear that when you just bought a mattress that, you know, that first night is going to be special for you and that you're going to be so much more comfortable in your sleep than you have before. It feels like it's supporting my whole body. Like, you know, these are really good. So testimonial overlay with your product. Um, you can also do a testimonial overlay with your user generated content from before. So another good creative type to add into the rotation of testing and seeing if it works for your brand. And here's another example of user generated content is 437, they're a bikini company. Um, and basically it's just, it's user generated content in mix with uh, testimonials. So you can see them talking about their, it being their favorite bikini brand um, and talking about how it's very soft and the, the bikinis are high quality and they love the patterns with user generated content to support that. So this is like the power combo and it, it's really good and it's very highly effective. As you can see, these guys have been running this ad since like mid July and it's still running. So uh, it's been almost like a month and a half. Combining these two is very, very powerful. And lastly is meme creatives. Now you might be thinking like, why am I doing meme creatives? You know, meme, memes are just there for, you know, people to make them laugh or for, for people to see a common idea. But memes are a really good way to build like some more cheekiness and quirkiness, add a bit of a fun factor to your brand. What I mean by that is, you know, with memes, people are more receptive to them because when they're going on Facebook, they're going on Instagram, they're looking, most of them are finding memes on their home page. So this not only bypasses their like thought that it's an ad, so they see like a similar meme template. Like for example, this looks like a meme template from like a far away perspective before you read into everything. And then you look at live forever, have superpowers, 25% off squash sale site wide. And then the guy is slamming the door in. So you can see that, you know, it looks like a meme and then people actually read into it and then it's an actual ad. That's another way to get into someone's like feed. It's kind of like a Trojan horse ad where they expect one thing, but it's another. I would highly recommend it because it's, it's good for retargeting because people already know of your brand. Plus it's another good way to expose your brand on a more wider scale versus uh, just having specific product shots or the testimonials or the UGC. Here it's like you're going for the memers and people that are only looking at memes. I mean, these guys are, they, they know how to do memes. You know, when you smell a fellow squatcher in public, I mean, they're a soap company, so you can smell um, when other people have used their soap. So it's like they have this mental connection or the um, stop using generic soap, another good one. Obviously these aren't ads, um, but using something like this for ads on the on your bottom or middle of funnel, and then maybe even your top of funnel would definitely be uh, very helpful. And the, this is their their mascot or like their, their main salesperson. It's like this blonde guy with long hair. So utilizing that. And then here's an actual ad from Chubby's, uh, which make men's shorts. Uh, they have a few few memes here where it's like cargo shorts and they're trying to promote their new um, like sort of short shorts or five inch inseam shorts where it's like society's playing with five inch inseam shorts while cargo shorts are drowning. So they have a ton of ads like these that are running and, and they're killing it simply. So that's pretty much it as far as all of the ads go. Now I hope you learned a lot and I hope you took a lot away from this and you know, if you're a store owner and you want to add anywhere between 50 to $100,000 in monthly recurring revenue to your store's bottom line, um, schedule a free scaling initiative call with the link down in the description below and let's see what Aspect can do for you. Now with that being said, that's it for the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions regarding creative, Facebook ads, e-commerce marketing and all that, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll be there to answer it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.